Hey, hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about how to connect Pepperstone UK Forex broker with GoCharting through MetaTrader 5 and trade on the charts. So if you check GoCharting on the right widget bar, we have a broker section over here. So click on this. Now you can click on here and go to App Store. Here we have different brokers for India, for USA and for crypto and Forex. So either you can select Pepperstone UK or you can also select MetaTrader 5. So let me show you both options. So you are getting option of ID, password, server IP port or server name. Similarly, if you click on MetaTrader also, you will get the same options. Now here, account ID and password you have to enter. But if you want to enter server IP and port, you can enter these two details or you can simply enter the server name. So that will also work. And then you can choose if it is a MetaTrader 5 or MT4, then you can simply connect. So now first of all, let's understand how we can get API from Paperstone. And then we will connect on GoCharting and do some live trading. So I'm showing the process for a demo account. If you want a real account, you can always open that. So I have searched for demo account with Pepperstone. Now let's click on here. So if you don't have an account, you can sign up or if you have already an account, you can simply press on login. So I'll be logged in by Google. Now, if you see my account, I have already made an account, a demo account on MT5. Now, if you want to make another demo account, you can press this add a trading account. So you can select the platform. So since I already have an account with MetaTrader 5, you cannot see that option. So if you have not made any account, you will see MetaTrader 5 option over here. So select any platform. You can select the account type. You can give it some name, the demo money and the currency type. And if you press submit, so this account will be created. Now the login credentials, they will be sent to you over email. So guys, this is my demo account details. Now here is one important catch. If you see the server name, they have simply written as Pepperstone demo. But I have seen that this server name was not working. But when I inserted a hyphen between Pepperstone and demo, this account started working. So make sure that if your account is not getting connected, you try with a hyphen as well. Now let's try to put these details on GoCharting. So now we have filled the details here. Now, as I said previously, we have to put a hyphen between these two. MT5, I agree, connect. Now you can see the broker is connected. Now let us try to do some trading. So to trade, we have various options. We have this buy and sell window. So for example, I want to buy 0 0.01 lots. And I want to place the market orders. So just press on this buy button and your order is placed. Now if you go to account section in the bottom, your order details will be here. These are your trades your positions, your balance, right? So you can access all the details from here. Now, how to choose the symbol? You want to trade with paper stone. So you make sure that you select the symbol, which is from paper stone broker. So if we enter Euro USD over here, you can see there are various broker for this symbol. So you have to select the paper stone UK because you are trading with paper stone. Now there are other options of trading as well. So we have this one click trade mode where you can simply go and buy the market orders. So then you can also place trades by simply right clicking. So there is a plus button over here. Just click on this and you will get the option of buy limit, sell stop, sell stop limit. And if you are moving your cursor above the LTP, now you will get sell limit, buy stop and buy stop limit. So these options will automatically change based on your price and cursor position. You can close your orders. Now let's try to put a limit order over here.
Now we can also drag it and modify it. So here we get the modify option and the order is modified. Now there is one important thing to understand. If you don't want this trading window to come again and again, you simply want to drag it and the order should get modified. Then what you have to do is go to the settings and here we have trading settings. So we have this quick trade mode. If you switch it on and now if you drag this, the order is getting modified without opening a new window. Let us also try to understand other options in the trading settings. So these are some notification systems like you can see the execution on the chart beeps and positions. You can set your chart profit and loss format like based on absolute format or ticks or percentage. Now, if you want to see the orders on the left hand side or on the right hand side, right? So you can change it. So for example, I want this to be shown on the right side. So now this is showing me on the right side over here. And you can also choose the order line style. I've already explained about the quick trade mode. Now here you can set your default size. So the default lots. Now let me talk about SL spread and target price spread. Then we'll talk about trigger spread. So SL spread and target price spread is useful when you are trying to place a bracket order. So you can just switch it on and you can select either based on price, offset, ticks or percentage. So your stop loss order and target price order will go at the same time and the trigger spread. So friends, in case of stop loss order, we can have two kinds of stop losses. So one is the market stop loss order and second is limit stop loss order. So when you are placing the limit stop loss orders, this will set the spread between the trigger price and the limit price in case of stop limit order. Now let us try to place some bracket orders and the stop limit orders and see how it is working. So we'll switch on this SL spread and target price spread. Let's try to keep it 1% and this also 1%. Now, if you press the buy window, you will see your take profit and stop loss is already filled. Press on the buy. And you can see your target price and the stop loss price is already filled. You can also individually modify the stop loss and target price. So if I want to move my stop loss, I can simply drag it and this is modified. At the same time, I can also modify the target price as well. I can also change this quantity. So if I want to change the number of lots, I will simply press on this 0.01 and now I can change the quantity as well. So this was about the bracket order. Now let's try to talk about stop limit orders. So let's first set the trigger spread. We are choosing 10 number of tick size for a stop limit order. And now if you press the sell button and go to stop limit, now you will see the 10 ticks are already adjusted from the limit price and stop price. So you don't need to fill them separately. And then you can simply press this button. So your stop limit order will be placed. But if you don't want the stop limit order, you can simply press the stop orders. So this will be executed as a market stop orders. So I hope in this video, I could explain you about how you can create API in Paperstone UK how to connect them with go charting through metatrader 5 and how you can go for placing order on the charts thank you guys